Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is me Farmer Envil Extreme and this is gonna be another production change tutorial on Farm Sim 22 and this time we're gonna look at the spinnery and the tail store over here. And there's a reason we're looking at both because they are intersection that they work together so first of all we're gonna look at input material for the tail store you'll need fabric from the spinnery here and spinnery requires either cotton or wool so for this video I've got four sheet pens they have the maximum producing wool so we got yeah 12,000 years of wool so that is 48,000 years in total more enough we'll need for this video and if you go to our production chain so there's two kinds of fabric you can produce cotton fabric or wool fabric and in terms with the ratios as you see for the recipe you need two liters of cotton for every liter of fabric for cotton this is five liters of cotton for every three liters of fabric material so that's how you do it so simply how you get in is simply let's turn the interactive zoom markers on so all you have to, have to do here is put the materials into the spinnery here. So in this case we've got two small cotton bells. I think these are about 17,000 in total. So what I'm going to do now is simply unload the cotton. And this will simply go into the spinnery. And for the spinnery to work you'll need to actually own this. So once that is unloaded see they've gone in to own this on most maps you either have something like this or something different on no man's land we use the base game provided options or the what the modder aim gem has provided us so go to productions we'll go to factory so we've got the tier store here 100 grand and we've got the spinnery here as well oh that's one spinnery there is another spinnery There we go, we use this one here. So they're about 10 to 15 slots each, depending on what you're using. But all you have to do is simply go to here, press L3, and this would let you buy it if you're on a base game map or if you're on a different map that has the spinnery already in place. On New Man's Hands, we have to purchase it. So when we do, we own this facility here. So. But look here, so yeah, we've got 15,614 litres of cotton. Now for the wool. We're in our little forklift here. And what we're going to do is go over and collect these pallets. So here we are, we've got three cotton bells. Oh, sorry, three wool bells all stacked up. And rather gingerly, I'm going to come over here and simply dump it into this zone here so if we go over here there we go seeking so all the cotton bells not wool bells sorry wool pallets so yeah see we've got three thousand euros in there so what I'm gonna do quickly is I'm gonna get the rest of these whack them into the spinnery and then once we've got all the pallets over here we'll go to the next step which is turning on the production chain So, alrighty then, we've got the rest of the wool here, and I did use a loader to help me up here a little bit, so I'm going to unload this. Uh, 3,000 years too much, so we'll simply pop this over here out of the way. And there we go, so that is the input done. Now we need to turn on these productions, so either go to the little spanner here, or simply go to the Productions tab and simply activate all of this and make sure you've got it on storing. Oh, didn't mean to do that. So you can either choose store, sell or distribute. If you distribute then it'll go all go to here into the tailor shop and I think for this actually we may just do that because it saves us transporting it all back and forth and that so actually what we'll do is for now let's just set to store 
if you set this to sell, you'll lose 40% of the money you will make and it takes the average price, of which at the moment for fabric, if we go to our sales tab, I'll go down to fabric. Average selling price is around 6,650, 6,700. And we're in May, so that should be a good time. Actually, it is. That is actually at its peak, give or take, admittedly. Aussie with the tier shop, if you had this on a map, that already had this in place, you'd be able to sell it with no problems. But if you buy this facility, you would be able to sell here afterwards, so that's the other thing to note. So now we've got these production facilities on storing. We're just going to simply fast forward a bit of time here. And as you can see, with the help of all the field info, our fabric is going up. So what we're going to do, we're going to let this run for a little bit and come back once we get some pallets spawned in. So, alright then, we have fast forwarded actually by two days and uh, we've got three pallets of fabric here. These are a thousand euros each and weigh 560 kilograms, which means we can't move these by hand unless you're on PC and you have super strength enabled. So yes, it will take some time to actually produce some fabric, but trust me, in the long run it will be worth it. More in particular if you stick with the wool, because I think with the cotton, in terms of the gross profit per month, you'll get a bit less. That's just from what I've seen in some other videos and from what I've seen in myself when I've used this. Obviously, the next step is going to be to the tail shop. In terms of average prices, at the moment, price of fabric is about 5200 if we're taking that's an alright price and actually I think that's slightly above the average selling price so actually I think it's like 5400 on normal economy my apologies there so yep it's around about average so you can sell it now if you wish and still make some profit so now what we're going to do we're going to transfer everything to the tea shop so now we go to the tea shop and I'll show you what to do so we'll simply go to our production chains I'll set everything to distribution there we go so now what I'll do I'll simply distribute all the products all we're going to do is simply pick this up and put it over here and like with the dumping area simply move the fabric here and bit of bit of boom it will go in fine so Simply lift these up and then we'll take them over. Hopefully, you don't have any pallet glitches, which we do not. And then one more. Like so. Pick these pallets up and then we'll simply move them over. And then you'll quickly see these will disappear so yeah there we go so now if you go to the close section see we've got 3390 liters of fabric and then again similar we can set store sell or distribute just with um, distribution there's no further chain so if you set this to distribute, then it, nothing will happen, so we're going to leave this to store for now. And I said, what we're going to do, we're going to fast forward a bit of time here, perhaps a couple of days, and then we'll come back and see what the results are. So, alright then, it's been seven months, and we've let this thing run very smoothly. And let's see what we've got here, so... Go to your production chains. Now we're actually storing excessive clothes because the spawn point has only recently just filled up. So now we've got six pallets of clothes. And with clothes, there's a couple of options to sell. We go to clothes. Oh, sorry, only one actually. 
and that is the farm shop so farm shop is currently offering 51,165 and that yeah, say that's about typically above average when you look at for the rest of the year so much we're going to do is really advance ahead till May and let's see actually how much money potentially we can get when we sell this at peak price so here we are in April and a lot of things have happened since we squeaked each other as I can go um, I skipped ahead not just by a couple of months, but by the entire year. That was because I was going off on some data that I had when I looked around about the best prices, where the best from sellies. And for what i seen, the like best prices were around maximum 21 grand on normal economy, and the average price was about 1400. But in the two years we've, or oh, I've done this, the average prices were actually around 13 grand, 12, 13 grand, and the best prices, which is now in April, is around 18.6, 18750 mark. So perhaps why not? It's because it's a modern map. This is No Man's Land by Ian Jim, or something to do with the latest patches on FS22 with one point. To and up to it 1.205 or 1.2.0.5, whatever it is. Not sure what exactly that is, but anyway, so we've got after two years of production, you got 18,000 years of clothes. And as we go and sell, there is a couple of things I want to say. Is it worth it? It is if you keep on top of it and have an optimization set up. And what I mean by that is, go to the production tab. I'll try to keep this as simple as we can, because it's a tutorial video, not an full econ econ uh, economics video on it. So if you look at simply cycles per month, so as you can see, there's more cycles per month for the wool in comparison to cycles per month for the clothes. And generally speaking, if you want to run this at a maximum optimization setup, best thing to do is use wool and cotton and have two spinneries for every tail store. Yes, it is expensive. Tail store is a hundred grand and spinnery is again another hundred grand. So you look at three hundred grand just off the bat with the productions. That's not including the sheep pens, which we've got. And if we go to our animals tab, go to sheep. They're worth, uh, let's say, a hundred grand each. So, to have a optimally set up, you'll need seven hundred grand worth of sheep pens. Yeah, just to get everything done. And with the sheep pens, get a maximum. Like, if we go to the pallet spawn point. They produce X amount of pallets, I think it was something like 16 or 8 whatever pallets they produce. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so 12. Yeah, 12 pallets. To get the maximum, yeah, 12,000 a year, so to get the maximum, that takes, let's move out of the way a sec, that takes 9 months to do. 9 months off catering for sheep will get you 1 pen, 12,000 litres. Cotton takes eight months to produce. This is regardless of whether or not you're using seasons or not. Just of course, if you're using seasons, that would mean you only plant at a certain time of the year. But if you're running about seasons, it's eight months regardless for the entire year. So, whilst this is running, I do recommend keeping the sheep topped up. They do need a lot of food. Yeah, something like things like. 30 or so thousand years. Not 30, I'm sorry, uh, 20% off, 56. Yeah, about, yeah, 13,000, yeah, 13, 1, 3,000 years of grass. And grass is very easy to do. The seasons on or off, it takes two months to produce, so to get 12, 13,000 years of grass, not going to be a problem. So, yeah, generally speaking, it can be worth it if you're running it for multiple years. That's the thing, it's not one of those quick production facilities like 
sawmill, like the great processing unit with particularly the raisins. It's all like those kind of production facilities within 12 in-game months. You can make all your money back and have no issues whatsoever. You still make profit, don't get me wrong, you still make profit regardless of how quickly you make the profits. Yes, I know clothes ain't accepted here. Clothes are accepted here, so... So it's 187 grand. Plus another 74. Plus that, so in the two in-game years, and this is selling at the best price, and if we find our finances, we've made 335 grand. And that's without the optimating setup, so I'm thinking you perhaps would need about three to four in-game years to have an automated, sorry not automated, an optimal set of two spinneries for every tape store to keep that constant flow. You need to keep an eye on your sheep and your cotton produce some good cotton fields. Like this, this is a 1.6 hectare field at a 95% yield bonus, that's not doing the rolling, you'll get about 17, 18,000 litres, so that is a very good amount, and to us, the cotton did last quite a while actually. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get into too much more into detail because the thing with production chains now, especially with a lot of FS2, you, you do need a bit of mathematical skills, and just me doing this quick video took a bit of time off doing a bit of work, doing a bit of quick analysis of when it's the best. Simply put it for close, the production chains do not really like so. Best of sell is in April for fabric, again it's April as well, like, yeah, seven grand. That is a very good price for fabric and when you look at like, the two to one ratios from fabric to clothes or Whatever, it is worth doing the clothes. Not just sell the fabric. Yes, you can be comfortable and sell the fabric as it is. But I do recommend going to clothes if you got the money and if you're willing to wait. But that is going to be it for me, folks. I hope you found this helpful and informative in some way, shape, or form. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share with them, please be my guest. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, if I choose to do, hope everyone has a nice day. But for now, this is me, Farmer Evil Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.